Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to generate a Word document from an Expo React Native app using the DocX NPM package. So you can see that I've installed these NPM packages using the Expo add command and I've just commented that out if you want to install with that. Um, and I've imported the ones that I'm going to need. So I've also created a button and linked it up to this generate Word document function that I'm currently filling out. So your first step is going to be cre to create a new variable to hold the document and from there you'll be able to generate the document. So with the document you're going to provide the sections that are going to be shown in the document and some UI components. So you can have paragraphs, you can have um, tables, you can have images, you can have any sorts of things really. Um, it's quite a powerful NPM package. Um, and once you're done, you're going to generate the base64 string using Packer and handle that promise. So with that base64 string, first we're going to want to write it to a file. Um, and that's just so that we can go ahead and share that file and actually save it to our main file system. So I'm just giving it a file name and that's the file name that's going to be accessible from within my app by. So I'm just going to call it my word document dot docx. Next, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to write that base64 as a string to that file um, destination. I'm also going to want to specify what type of encoding I'm using. And in this case, as you know, I've already said it's base64. And the file system dot encoding type has a um, constant for that base64 type of encoding. So once we've gone ahead and we've written that document, then we're going to actually want to go ahead and share that file so that we can save it to our files and access it from elsewhere on our phone. You don't actually need to save it locally if you don't want to. You could send it to an API that could then save it somewhere else. Um, but for my purposes, I'm just wanting to show you guys um, that you can generate and save a file locally. So yeah, what I'll do is I'll use that sharing.shareasync to share my file. And it'll pop up with a few actions. And one of these actions is save to files. If I go ahead and click that, it gives me the option to save. And then I can go navigate to my files app. And I should see the Word document that I've created. So there's my Word document. And if I go ahead and click on that, it'll load up and it should say, hello, YouTube. So there you go. It has exactly what I've specified and it's in a, my, in a docx format. So people can go ahead and edit it if they had the correct apps installed. You can also do some basic formatting. So you can specify what sort of heading type it is. And you can do that using the heading property. You're going to want to import heading level from DocX for that. And it has some built-in ones just like title, heading level, one, two, three. So I'm just going to add a few more different paragraphs so you can see a few different ways of formatting it. I'm going to just use heading one for this one. And I'm going to do a final one without styling. So you can see it's quite easy to build up a different Word document and I'm going to generate this one in a minute. Cool, now that my changes are made, I'm just going to navigate back to my app and save and generate my Word document. I'm going to save that to files and I'm just going to save it in that same location and just keep both. So if you do this, you can go and compare between the two if you wanted to. 
So if I click on the My Word Document 2, which is the second one that I've just generated now, you can see I've got a heading and then I've got my second level title and then just a normal paragraph. There are a few other things you can do. So one thing you can do is you can actually add bullet point lists and that's quite simple to do. So I'll show you how to do that now. Once again, you're just using that simple paragraph um, child. But you're also going to provide a bullet which is going to have the level that your bullet is indented to. This starts at zero, so that's just like a main bullet point. And I'll just show you a few different levels. So I'm going to show you mostly level zero. Then I'm going to show you going to level one and then back to level zero. Now that that's done, I'm going to go ahead and save and generate my Word document. I'm just going to keep that once again so I can compare in a minute. Then I'm going to open my Word document. Okay, so you can see my bullet point list there and you can see that I've got that one indented to level one. Um, there's a few more things you can do, and you can do that using another type of um, component, which is a text run. So a text run basically allows you to apply styling to text, and to use that, you're just going to convert this text into children, which is an array inside the paragraph. And then I'm going to create a new text run. So here I can specify the text that I want to show, which is just going to be my. I can specify if I want it bold. I could specify if I want it italic. I can apply many different types of styles to this text run I'm just going to set bold and color but you can look up all the pro properties on the documentation so I'm going to make that red you have to use a hex code here if you don't it'll probably tell you invalid hex code I encountered that previously then I'm going to want to make sure my bullets in the correct place Now that's good to go. Okay, so I forgot to import text run. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Now I'll generate my Word document and save to files. Once again, I'm just keeping this so you can compare if you need to. And if I go to my files, then I should see my fourth Word document. If I click on this to load it, you can see that I've got a bullet point that's red now and bolded. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial today. If you have, please like and subscribe for more content. And if you want a more detailed tutorial, please let me know. All my code will be available to you on GitHub.